Hey guys, welcome back to my 100 subscribers. 100. Guys, I know it's been a minute, but long story short, I was traveling across my province, moving for work. Car broke down, gave the car to some strangers, had to stay in a motel for three nights, you know, befriended a biker, puppy dog, and this trucker that happened to be driving through where I needed to go. Trucker gave me a ride, a 12 hour ride, and now I'm in between houses, patiently waiting to run into a forest fire. I'm not gonna elaborate on any of this, because frankly, some people just don't give a so let's get into it. If you aren't already, and you're serious about learning guitar, join my Discord. So far, it has grown into a small community of good guitar players, great guitar players, and a lot of noobs. So don't be afraid to come in. You can ask questions. If you want to know the whole story, uh, just come in there. You can talk to me personally. I'll tell you. It's something like that, and then we got the chords. So right now, we're going to work on the intro. If you want the chords, I'll, uh, I'll have the time here. The guitar is not tuned in standard tuning. I'll put the tuning up above. So we're going to start with this shape. I'm using your thumb on the sixth string on that eighth fret. Might be a bit of a challenge. And you might have noticed that I'm abrogating my uh, strings. So instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it like this. Sounds way prettier. You don't have to do it though. If you guys want to play with a pick, uh, you can come talk to me in the Discord and I'll help you play with a pick. So here's the first chunk. So that in itself is a little complicated, so we're going to split that into two parts as well. So like this. So you're going to play the third, fourth, and sixth. And then you're going to come up on that second string. So just like that. This is what the second chunk is going to sound like. So to do that, we're going to abrogate the second, third, and fourth, or just play them all together. It doesn't matter. Then you're going to move your pointer to the fifth fret of the first string and play that first string, then the second string, and then you're going to put your pointer on the second string, sixth fret, and lift the pinky. So you just on this shape now so really really super slow if you guys can hear that pattern that's all we want out of it but we get it to sound pretty like this right also something important with this the reason I want to keep my thumb here so we can keep this note resonating throughout the whole melody here. So. Because if I move my thumb off, it's gone. So try and keep your thumb there. So when you're practicing this, try and keep all three of these fingers here. That's all we did for the first bit and the second bit. All right, now we're moving on to the next chunk, which is up here, or down, here, down. It's down. All right, so we're starting with this shape, which looks absolutely ridiculous, but if you break it down into pieces, we have like this sort of stair set of, uh, of notes, starting with the second, then the third, then the fourth, and you're gonna put your thumb down on the third fret of this, which is exactly what we had down here. Uh, and now we're just adding the pinky onto that second string. This is the second chunk. So you're gonna start by hitting the second, third, fourth, and the sixth. And now you're just kinda gonna go back and forth on this second string. So. Lift the pinky, put the pinky back down back up and now you're going to move this pointer to the first string first fret put that pinky down and you're going to let go of the thumb and now you're going to play the first second third fourth and sixth and now you're just going to play the second third and fourth and then you let go of that thumb move the pointer Put the pinky back down. And then the second, third, and fourth. If you really want to be fancy with it, there's a couple of little stray notes at the end. 
like that. But in the bass line, which sounds like this, you'd think it would end there, but on the four, right before it resets, it comes down here, and then it resets. So you can incorporate that if you want. Second string, first string, but when you play that first string, you're also going to add in the third fret. So it'll sound like this. And then you reset there. So when your thumb does get down here, you have to be ready with your shape. Which is a little tricky and will take practice. Alright, so you're here for the chords. If you mastered that intro, this is going to be pie, you know, or cake or whatever. So here's what the chords sound like. So basically this is the first chord. You don't have to have it, you can just play it. So make sure you're muting that uh, fifth string and the first string. You can mute that fifth string uh, with your thumb and you can mute this first string with your pointer resting back. And this fifth string is also muted with my thumb. So you're gonna play it like this. Come up to this shape, which we already played in the intro. Now you're just putting that pinky down, opening up the sixth, and and now we can also incorporate that uh, bass line when it comes off the third fret. All you have to do when you're playing your final chord, you need to count out in your head. Uh, you can do it out loud while you're practicing, but uh, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, one, two. And on the second four, you're gonna hit this and slide it down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And you have to make sure on that one, you have the full chord fretted. All right, that is basically it, guys. If you have made a cover to any of my songs or you're making cover to this one, uh, send me a video. You can send it uh, through the Discord. You can put it in the Discord if you want feedback from the community. If you don't want all the attention, you could personally send it to me. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see my tutorials getting used. Still don't have a cool, still don't have a cool catchphrase.